For black and white printing, you can use the same ICC profile and auto select based on the printer and paper you're using. But we do recommend for black and white using the advanced black and white photo mode. You may have to, depending on your monitor, scroll down to see the entire box. You can, of course, minimize the layout and printer settings so you can see all of the functionality. One of the advantages of Epson print layout with the advanced black and white photo mode is you'll see an actual live preview of your image versus the driver, which uses a proxy image. And here you can select a neutral tone or presets for cool, warm, and sepia. Or you can start with neutral and utilizing this target, look at your image and determine, gee, I really would like to go into the selenium direction or into a cyan direction or a cool direction or a warm direction. You have all of this control and you can see the live preview. You can also start from neutral and use the horizontal and vertical in small increments, as you can see the target moving, for greater accuracy. Tone is a gamma setting. And many images will look okay at normal, some will look better at darker, but we recommend the best place to start for black and white images is dark. Uh, please do not be concerned about some of these names, they're just gamma settings from 1.8 to 2.0 to 2.4, etc. Dark is the best place to start. If you've managed your file in another application, it's best to leave these at zero. But you do have the functionality if you find that the prints are running a little too bright or a little too dark or a little too contrasty, etc., to make changes here. When you're done with those settings, determine the number of prints you would like to make. And here, you can bring it down to there, to one, and then click print. 